Evolution is one of the most misunderstood scientific concepts. When you think of evolution, you may picture this image, which shows a chimp progressively becoming a human being. But that's not how it works. Today we will discover what is evolution, the mechanism behind it, and how we can prove it just by looking at our own bodies. Evolution is the development of life on Earth. It's the change of a heritable trait within a species across generations and millions of years. Now let's explain how all of this works. Evolution is based on the uniqueness of every creature through heredity and selection. Uniqueness is the fact that every single living being is different than the other, whether the difference is observable or not. This happens with excess reproduction. With more offsprings comes more little differences, and those little changes accumulate with a lot of time to make an entirely new species sharing the same ancestor. Like chimps and humans did not evolve from chimps, but our most recent common ancestor was 6 million years ago. This process is made possible with heredity, or the passing on of DNA to one's offspring. Heredity happens through mutations and recombination. The latter consists of random mixing of the DNA of two creatures when they mate, recombining their genes twice, except from the mother and sperm from the father. This allows so many new possibilities of different matches. Next mutation, or a random change in the DNA. It's copying errors where part of the DNA is altered. It can be either negative, like cancer and other diseases, or positive, like the blue eye color of humans. The mechanism that guides evolution, like a dog breeder who only breeds dogs who carry favorable traits for his business, is the Darwinian natural selection. In light of many factors, climate, presence of predators, the ones with the right mix of genes survive in nature and the others don't. It's the survival of the fittest. Only they can pass on their genes. First we have evidence from embryology. Animals share similarities in their early stages of development. The embryos of all vertebrates show similarities in shape and structure in their early stages of development. The semblance is so close that it is difficult to tell them apart. Besides, overtebrates start their life from a single cell, the zygote. Now let's look at evidence from your own body. A muscle in your arm, the palmaris longus, was very useful to mammals who were our ancestors, and even to our current relatives. But 14% of humans don't have it, even though it no longer serves its previous function. Evolution does not show us exactly how life started on Earth, but it shows us beautifully how it came into its magnificent